I'm Jared Haynes, and this is Rogue Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you about the First Light Brooks Down Glassing Mitten. So these mittens run you about $70 to $80, depending on where you get them from. And they are a mitten that is an 800 fill down that can be compressed, very small, and provide you a tremendous amount of warmth for how small and lightweight they are. Now this glassing mitten, I have found to be uh, very good in the category of weight to warmth ratio. However, I have run into a little bit of an issue with the bottom side of the mitten. These grippers <clears throat> not really giving too much grip on the surfaces or things that I'm trying to grab. So let me give you a few examples of what I've found them to work well and not well in. So the first thing that they are extremely good in is they're able to be pulled on very easily. So you put the first one on, obviously with your bare hand or other under glove that you would have more dexterity with. And then you can just take this orange little loop here on the bottom, wrap your thumb into that and pull the mitten right up onto your other hand. So very easy to get on um, in cold weather and they provide a tremendous amount of warmth. Uh, like I said, my hands, I'm inside of a house obviously filming this, but it is uh, colder outside. I've got the windows open and the house is somewhere around about 62 degrees right now. And in the few seconds I've had these on, my hands are literally about ready to start sweating. So um, they provide a tremendous amount of heat. The bottom side right here, not having a bunch of baffling really traps the heat in on your palms. Um, and then that allows for your fingers to get good blood flow and just stay really warm while you're out there glassing, especially at that kind of a arched bent angle. The way that the baffling works here on the back side as it goes down your arm allows you to really get that perfect bend when it comes to, you know, glassing and things like that. So these are designed around the hunting outdoors world. I'm going to take this one off here for a second. When it comes to a spotting scope, um, you're very easy or easily able to get your cap off the front here and you can, you know, adjust the eye ring here for your depth. You can do the power and you can adjust, you know, focus and things like that very easily. Um, I can adjust, you know, break loose and get the pan and tilt and those kind of things on most spotting scopes pretty easily. And I am able to get over here to the side one and take, you know, this off if I wanted to put on another spotting scope or, um, you know, binoculars or whatnot. So I'm able to do that very easily and, you know, have no issues with that palm portion. Where the palm portion does come in to have a little bit of an issue is on rifle stocks or bow grips, things like that. Um, it does not provide a lot of grip. And one other spot that I found it to be an issue is actually on certain bino harnesses, so not all of them, but I run the Alaskan Guide Creations one. If you look up here on the very top portion, there's this little black tab. That is what I have to pull to you know, open this up and I can easily slip off when grabbing it. Now it's not something that I can't overcome. Obviously I just opened it up, um, but if I'm trying to stay focused on an animal in front of me and, you know, just reaching down and get that feel, it can be a lot harder um, because right up here, you're kind of in between those grippers uh, right here and this section is kind of where you're pinching a lot and you don't have a lot of good grip on there. Now with the binoculars themselves, I am able to get a good purchase on them, a uh, good feel. I can use the adjustment knob up here and you know be able to adjust my eye caps and everything like that. So they do work obviously as a glassing mitten, but like I said, getting them out of the bino harness can be a little iffy. And to be totally honest, I don't feel 100% comfortable when I'm holding super expensive pair of binoculars with these without having a little bit extra grip. They're not 100% um, slick where they're just going to, you know, the binoculars are going to fall out of your hand. But I would like it to be a little bit more textured, some other material up here to get a little bit more grip. Now, 
if we move into knives, um, one thing that I think is important is a lot of people carry a knife up on their bino harness in just a normal you know, sheath like this. And you're gonna wanna be able to get this out if there was you know, a cougar attack or some reason that you needed to get it out quickly. And you can do that. You can easily undo the snap and pull the knife out, um, get a good handhold on there so that the knife is usable. Um, so that is good. You're not gonna be able on like a Havilon knife here, be able to get this top little portion, uh, but on a pocket knife like this one right here, you are able to undo that little knob right here and open up the knife. So you do have pretty decent dexterity, but you have to have a harder little knob or object like that if you're doing pocket knives. Again, that's not really what these are designed for, but it is something worth mentioning. Uh, last thing I wanted to touch on with these is gonna be the price, um, you know, bang to buck ratio. I do think that they're pretty decently priced for what they are. Um, there's some down mittens in the, you know, 800 fill down category that go for quite a bit more money. And there's not a lot that goes for considerably less than that 70 to $80 price range. So I think they are a good mitten worth considering. Uh, kind of depends on how much you're gonna wanna carry your bow or things like that in your hand. I personally am gonna try a few different models of gloves from different companies uh, and see if there's anybody that has a better gripper on the bottom. For me personally, I think that that would be a good option to you know kind of look at and explore. But I do really like these gloves. Now I do wear a size medium in almost every other company's glove, motorcycle gloves, work gloves, um, Kuyu gloves, all that kind of stuff. And this medium fits true to size. Um, you know, it's a little bit bigger so that you can have an under glove on there, but the length for my fingers and that kind of stuff does work perfect in this medium glove. So I hope you like this quick video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more content like this coming out soon. Thank you for watching.